Hey everyone, Krista here, and today I'm going to be going over one of my favorite local Halloween haunts, Sir Henry's Haunted Trail. In this video, I'm going to go over all of the spooky details of this year and show you why you absolutely have to experience this awesome event this Halloween season. Sir Henry's Haunted Trail is located in Plant City, Florida, which is a little more than an hour away from Orlando and 45 minutes from Tampa. This year, Sir Henry's Haunted Trail is celebrating its 11th season with three new walkthrough haunted trails, each with a unique and terrifying story. And they brought back the Legends of Halloween Haunted Hayride that was super popular last year. We were invited to media night and were treated to a special opening ceremony that kicked off with the Headless Horseman. Then all the new scare actors for this year were revealed as they roamed in front of the crowd. <laughs> Plus a special appearance from the main man himself, Sir Henry. I want Sir Henry! <laughs> That was awesome. When you first arrive, you'll enter the common area where all of the festivities take place. Here is where you'll find the entrance to all three of the haunted trails and the hayride. There's also several dining options, a swag shop, and a few extra activities that I'll go over in more detail later on. Here is also where the roaming scare actors will interact with the guests. <laughs> what do you got there? Oh, wait, that's a head. Oh, it's just oh, it's just a head. Oh, okay. You know. You never know when you need an extra one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so there are three haunted houses available this year. The Ripper, Pyram's Wrath, and Agua de Morite. We're going to check these all out once the sun goes down and the lights turn on so that we get a little bit more of a spookery experience, as well as the haunted hayride because that was my favorite thing at Sir Henry's last year, so I'm excited to check it out. So first up is the Haunted Hayride. So I am so excited because this was my favorite thing last year, and they've changed it up a little bit. And this year we actually get to film in POV, so I'm excited to share it with you guys because this was amazing last year. So let's go check it out. There is no escape. Your souls will be mine. As these legends of Halloween come back to life, your fear will be unleashed. <laughs> All right, gang, so we just got off of the Haunted Hayride and it was awesome. I love all of the little details in that entire ride. You first begin with you going into a little village with a bunch of scary little trick-or-treaters. 
and then head into this crazy barn where they use humans as fertilizer. And then after that, you head into my favorite part is the long trail with all of the pumpkins that kind of line the entire trail. You also get a glimpse of the headless horseman, which is really, really cool. We missed a few of the haunts in the very beginning because I didn't go all the way to the front. So if you are doing the haunted hayride and you're only doing it for that one time, I definitely recommend if you can to sit a little bit further back because I feel like they got a lot more of the scares than we did with sitting up front. <laughs> oh god he's following me <laughs> so we are heading into our first house which is the ripper and i love the facades of their houses here they are amazing <laughs> uh, hello mim it's nice to meet you are you going into the house too yeah oh awesome have you have you been is it is it amazing Yes, I'll take Mim's word for it. Mim's never led us astray before. <laughs> I know, yeah, yeah, exactly, see? In this house, you're taken to 1891 London, where a killer known as the Ripper stalks the streets. His gruesome murders escalate from a small farm to the city, and as the police struggle to stop him, nowhere is safe. So creepy. What do you not think you're doing out here? Huh. Come on, don't you know it's classic perfume? <laughs> yes, baby! Oh, don't God. forget your yes, baby! Jack the Ripper's coming to town! Oh, yeah. You wouldn't want to miss out on some yes, baby! Hi! Hey, come on in! Hello! Hi. What are you doing this evening? Fancy a pint like mine made over here? Hello! Oh, hi! We're going through like a cemetery or something. Oh my god, it's so dark in here. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> what? Oh, hi! going deeper and deeper into a graveyard now. Oh my goodness. But Archer, believe him. My mommy told me to stay right here. That's exactly what I'm doing. Right here. Oh gosh. More of these. Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god. He's a murderer. He's a demon. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh, is that Jack the Ripper? Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. Get moving. We have a Ripper in country. I'll show you myself. Where right here, see? Oh. He's here. Don't worry about it. You're safe. Ah. Fresh cuts. Yes. Straight from the Ripper. Straight from the Ripper. Hey. <laughs> oh, I love this like laser effect. That is so cool. Oh, and like, I don't like the strings though. Hey. Oh God. I went... Okay. Look at all these guys. Oh my God. Creepy. What? Oh God! Oh yeah, he's covered. Yo! Please! 
my god. Oh, he's got him. He's got him. Oh my god. It's going. That was awesome. How creepy and scary. The scariest parts are just walking through like the bodies that were hanging, especially when you first encounter them in the forest. That was insane. And then as you keep going further and further, Jack the Ripper definitely <laughs> got us a few times. And then as you're like going through the cemetery and then further in through the crypt, like that was amazing. It just kept getting creepier and a creepier like as you went along. So the Ripper, definitely 10 out of 10. That was amazing. Next house and we're heading into Pyram's Wrath. So this house is a little bit different. We do have to go through it in selfie mode. So fortunately I'm not able to do a POV of this house, but I'm gonna give you guys a download after we finish to tell you what it's all about. This haunted house revolves around the legend of Pyram, a creature who massacred a village 230 years ago after being wrongfully killed. Pyram grows stronger with each victim, destroying anything in his path. Whoa! The bad, the creature, the monsters, they're all oh bad, my God. Oh, we can't go back! Ah. Oh my god. Now we count for blood. What? Have to listen to me, please. All of your pain moments. Oh. Now you're ah. <laughs> Oh wow. We just walked into some kind of seance. Slip on by. Ah! Jeez! <laughs> Walking through these hallways that are lit by jack-o'-lanterns, which look awesome. Oh, creepy. Oh god, oh god, that wall just moved. Ah! Oh no! Oh my god! Ah! Oh god! Oh, we're walking through like a library of some sort, like all through these books. Yours. Oh, no, thank you. I still need it. Jeez, ah! ah! Oh, I can't even see anything. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. That guy is awesome. Okay, walking through all these weeds and... Oh, camera got caught. This person's not having a good day at all. What? Crazy. Oh, jeez. Ah! Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. I hate this section. It's the closet. It's the closet of death. Oh, my God. This is my worst nightmare right here. Oh, God. I think it's getting lower. What the heck? Where are we going? What? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my god, what is this place? Oh my god, oh my god, what was that? I swear that was venom. <laughs> ah! Jeez, um, I can't see a darn thing. Here we go. Oh god, we go, oh god. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, I believe you. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. <laughs> wow. So we just walked out of Pyram's Wrath. Oh my God, that was insane. I think that was definitely scarier than Jack the Ripper. The scariest part was that they brought back the closet where you're like walking through, but then it gets even worse because you're like walking through not only a closet, but then it gets like even more claustrophobic because you're going through kind of like all of these like weeds and and like hay and straw and things that are just like touching you and it's just crazy and oh yeah oh hi that's a nice uh knife you've got there <laughs> wow and then there was like this pumpkin guy that was like chasing us like all through the house and at the end there was like this giant like pumpkin head guy that 
was amazing. I like jumped so high that I almost dropped the camera like several times. There was like this this air puff thing that got me like right in the air. And I think I probably am a little deaf after that, but that was that was really, really fun. What did what did you think, Noah? That was the best one so far. That was the best one so far. Okay. <laughs> we only have one house left and we are able to go through this in POV. So we're going into our last house, which is Agua de Marte. I know I pronounced that incredibly wrong, so I apologize ahead of time. This house is centered around Spanish conquistadors who discovered what they believe to be the fountain of youth. The water has been cursed by the original settlers and anyone who drinks from it faces a terrible death. The water is known as Las Aguas de Muerte or the fountain of death. Let's go. Good luck. Thank you. Wow. Oh God. Oh, oh yes, I'm out. Okay. Oh God! <laughs> oh my God! Hi! <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God! Oh God! <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, he's laughing at us. <laughs> All right, we're walking into the Castillo now. What <laughs> 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 going into like the storage room of some kind. Oh God, okay. <laughs> We're going into the, the barracks, I think. What? Oh God. <laughs> God. Oh God. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh What? Wow, that was incredible. They rebuilt the Castillo. Like, shut up. That was amazing from like the very beginning, especially once you hit the Castillo and you were like walking through, they like rebuilt some of like the, the soldiers quarters and then you went through almost like a, like a tomb. Like, oh my God, that was, amazing it wasn't as scary as probably the other ones it was definitely the best set pieces of all three of the houses i was 
so impressed. That was amazing. And then, oh my God, and I, get, I totally forgot. You get to like walk across um, the bridge into the Castillo and like the, the bridge, kind, yeah, the drawbridge kind of like, like, like moves as you're like walking across, which was a little unsettling. And that was just so cool. I loved it. It is a little bit shorter than the other trails, but it was the most amazing set of the night. Totally worth doing. Wow, they really outdid themselves this year. It was so cool. Loved it. Sir Henry's also offers a few extra add-ons, including two escape rooms that includes Smile and a Wasp, which stands for Werewolf Apprehension Service and Protection. It's $5 per person to do the escape rooms, which are three minutes each, and the tickets can be purchased here on site. There's also axe throwing that you can do for $5 per person for nine throws. There's a few different food and drink options here if you get hungry. There's the corn dog stand, a pelican snowball shaved ice stand, and a Sir Henry's Spooky Eats that offers a few snack options. You can also get some fresh squeezed lemonade here at Priscilla's. You can get regular strawberry or the Sir Henry's special oh, lemonade. What? Look at that. So this is their special for the night. And it also comes with a candied eyeball, which looks so fun. And it's all fresh squeezed lemonade. Cheers. Mmm. I like that. It is also very refreshing. The regular lemonade. Mm, that is good too. Both of these are delicious. I expected it to be tart, but it's not tart. Yeah, I expected it to be sour of some kind, but it's not sour. It's not sour at all. It's still very sweet. I, actually, this one's a little bit more tart than than this one is. This one's a little bit more sweet. So if you prefer like it to be a little sweeter, then you want to get this one. But you can't go wrong with either one, to be honest. At the end of the night, when you are like sweating to death and have screamed your lungs out, then this is a, a great way to, to end the night. At Sir Henry's Swag Shop, you can get some souvenirs. Here, you can get everything from a Sir Henry's t-shirt, calendar, stickers, magnets, candles, jewelry, and more. They also have a brand new Sir Henry's Haunted Cookbook, which has some fun themed recipes. You can also commemorate your visit with a couple of really cool photo spots. First is the Sir Henry's Haunted Trail mural, and the other has this awesome wooden bench in front of the spooky scene. Overall, I think this event is incredible. It's definitely one of my favorite independent local haunts and one I don't think you should miss this Halloween season. If you are planning on attending Sir Henry's, here are a few things to keep in mind. Sir Henry's Haunted Trail is running from September 27 through November 2nd and is not recommended for children under 12. Tickets must be purchased through their website in advance at SirHenry'sHauntedTrail.com. There are a couple of different ticket types to choose from. General admission starts at $27, which will get you admission to all three haunted trails, but this does not include the hayride. If you'd like to add on the haunted hayride, then you'll need to get the all access ticket that starts at $42, which gets you one admission to each of the trails as well as the hayride. If you're only going for one a night, the all access ticket will be your best value. If you want to skip the lines, they do offer a VIP ticket that starts at $57, which allows you one front of line entry to each trail and hayride, as well as unlimited general admission to each of the trails. Unfortunately, you still only get one hayride even with this ticket due to the anticipated lines. If you want to experience Sir Henry's multiple times throughout the season, they also offer a season pass that you can get for $135, which also gets you a 10% discount at the swag shop. The trails are also pulsed so that groups of six or less will go through at a time to avoid a conga line. And since the event is mostly outdoors, if it rains, you will get wet. Closed toe shoes are recommended since you will be walking on uneven trails, and I also highly recommend wearing bug spray. 
If you found any of this information helpful, I would love it if you would hit that like button and subscribe if you would love to get more ideas like this in my beautiful state of Florida. I release a new video every week and the best way to be able to see them is by subscribing. I also want to give a huge shout out to my channel members. You guys make this channel possible and I couldn't appreciate you more. If you'd like to help support what we do here, you'll get early access to our videos, exclusive emotes, and more. I'll leave a link in the description below. If you're looking for even more spooky experiences to try in Central Florida, then I've got an entire playlist for you that I'll pop up on the screen. In this playlist, I'll go through the Halloween events at major theme parks, as well as a few smaller ones that I've attended that you absolutely can't miss. Until next time, everyone, I hope you have an incredible night and I'll see you in the fog. Don't forget your newspaper. You wouldn't want to miss out.